Hello, my name is Jelle Penders and I am the first author of the paper entitled Shape-Dependent Antibacterial Effects of Non-Cytotoxic Gold Nanoparticles. In this video abstract, I would like to introduce to you the goal of our study and give you a brief overview of our results and conclusions. The goal of our study was to investigate the shape dependence of the antibacterial effect of gold nanoparticles towards Staphylococcus aureus and, concurrently, their cytotoxic effects towards human dermal fibroblasts. Staph aureus is a bacteria responsible for numerous life-threatening infections worldwide, and in particular methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, is notoriously difficult to treat with conventional antibiotics due to its high antibiotic resistance. Nanoparticle-based antibacterial treatments may therefore be of great merit combating these infections. We have optimized the synthesis of three distinctly shaped gold nanoparticles, gold nanoflowers, gold nanostars, and gold nanospheres, with similar size ranges and with the same surface chemistry. The antibacterial effect towards Staph aureus was measured via optical growth curve measurements and evaluated using Gomport's modeling. In addition, the cytotoxicity was evaluated against human dermal fibroblast cells using MTS viability assays and confocal fluorescence microscopy. Optical growth curve measurements and subsequent Gumpert's modeling showed a significant gold nanoparticle shape and concentration dependent decrease in bacterial growth with increases in bacterial growth lag time for both gold nanostars and even more so for gold nanoflowers. The antibacterial effect just increases with increasing surface area and protrusions. The particles were evaluated for the cytotoxicity towards human dermal fibroblasts and no significant cytotoxic effect was found using MTS viability assays. Nor were any morphological or cytotoxicity indicating changes detected in the cells with confocal fluorescence microscopy, even upon exposure to high concentrations of the particles. In conclusion, we have observed a shape dependence of the antibacterial effects of gold nanoparticles increasing with increasing surface area and protrusions. The gold nanoflowers in particular show promising properties for future investigation in a wide range of anti-infection applications. On behalf of all authors, I thank you for your interest in our paper.